Suddenly, I'm just floating all the more effortlessly towards the realization of all my hopes and dreams. Traveling close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. You must make quick decisions, and I'll tell you why. There's a paradox. There are many paradoxes happening in the way that we perceive time. When you take a long time to make a decision, and you're just waiting for things to line up, and wow, six months have passed? It was just yesterday I was doing the exact same thing I've been doing for the last Time speeds up, but if you're like me, I've tried on many hats. It fills up and it feels longer. So moving fast extends your time here. If a physicist were to explain to you how the physical universe works, it's exactly that. How time works, Einstein's theory of relativity. Faster than an object moves through space. I ought to Google this. Imagine a place where the speed of light isn't its true value of 300,000 kilometers a second, but something a lot less. The speed of a motor scooter. Paolo says goodbye to his little brother Vincenzo. No, Vincenzo. The most bizarre aspect of traveling near the speed of light is that time slows down. Paolo's watch and his internal sense of time show that he's been gone from his friends for only a few minutes. But from their point of view, he has been away for many decades. His friends have grown up, moved on, and died. And his younger brother has been patiently waiting for him all this time. The two brothers experience the paradox of time dilation. They've encountered Einstein's special relativity. Any chance? You can only fill it up if you move fast. There's so much more fun to be had. Just act, just act, just, just do it. Just, what do you want to do? Just do it, just try it, just why not? Go for it, paradox of time. Oh, I want to share with you something I've implemented in my life and ever since I did, my life has just gotten so much better so rapidly. It's kind of extreme. The people in my life, the people I call my friends, the people I spend my time with, the people I keep around me, it's either going one way or the other. You are the wind in my sails or you are my anchor. If you're not actively like, I support you, I encourage you, I want to help you in any way that I can because I'm your friend and I believe in you, then you're slowing me down. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to get somewhere real good. I'm getting there so much faster because I've got all this extra wind in my sails. You really shouldn't keep people in your life that are even mildly holding you back or making you feel self-conscious or feel insecure or feel like, do they really like me? Clear space in your life for that thing that you want to do. Just start, ask yourself, do I feel like people don't like me because I'm insecure with who I am or do I feel like people don't like me because they're insecure with who they are and they're projecting that shit on me? It's actually remarkably easy to adapt. Go through all your shit and realize I don't need this anymore. It's holding me back. It's too much. It's weighing me down. Relationships are everything. I don't need a single anchor coming along for my journey. I'm never going to stop. There's so much m even better memories that are coming ahead. I'll either be paddling, steering, and if I'm sleeping, I'll be floating through my dreams, all in the direction of where I'm trying to go. This was just a thought experiment, but atomic particles traveling near the speed of light do decay more slowly than stationary particles. As strange and counterintuitive as it seems, time dilation is a law of nature. Real good, right? If we travel close to light speed, we age more slowly than those we left behind. You gotta go, because life is ticking. I'm simply an advocate for fulfillment. It's, it's rippling. It's 
course, I'm nothing but wind to the sails of those I love. I'm your wind, baby, I'm your wind. I'm going someplace.